This is San Quentin. It's not only California's oldest and biggest prison, it's also one of America's most notorious. It houses 4,000 inmates. One in five await their fate in this building on death row, the most crowded in the land. But despite its reputation, or perhaps because of it, this jail is now keen to shake off its infamy to embrace change. Behind these walls, San Quentin is now the setting for a groundbreaking program, which its advocates say is the most progressive ever seen on American soil. Today I'm being given rare access to see how 18 motivated prisoners are being transformed into the programmers of tomorrow. These inmates are halfway through a six-month experiment teaching them the essential web coding languages, skills in short supply in nearby Silicon Valley. The goal is simple, to give them a shot at a decent life on the outside, meaning they're less likely to end up back in here. Some want to find jobs, others aspire to begin their own startups. The power in this is giving us the ability to earn a livable wage when we get out, to have a, a trade or, or a skill, a skill set that is employable, so we don't become a statistic when we get out. Everybody say hi. For eight hours a day, four days a week, the prisoners learn from specialists based remotely in San Francisco. The inmates apply their newfound skills in projects with support from in-class tutors. On the face of it, it's disarmingly easy to forget you're in a maximum security penitentiary. But all of these students have been carefully vetted. And underlying the laid-back dynamic, security is still paramount. The number one difference logistically is that we don't have web connection. For, for obvious reasons, they're not permitted contact with the outside world. And so what we had to do is, is put an immense amount of work into rebuilding a small subset of the internet, the stuff that you would use for programming, an enormous amount of uh, material that they can refer to as they work through the program. Many inmates have been inside for so long, they've had little or no exposure to technology. For guys who lag behind, to have a class like this and learn something where they can keep up with society once they go home is fantastic. Even before they get out, it's hoped some in the class will enter into a joint venture with private enterprise to help them make the transition to life on the outside, for which prisoners need to prepare mentally. I think I'm going to be all right. I think I'm going to, by the time I get out, uh, uh, I'm going to be prolific on this and uh, proficient enough to, to uh, uh, get a job and, and show uh, to the world that I am an, an, an asset instead of a liability. Are you still anxious to some degree that your background will prohibit that? Yes. To be honest, yes. At the end of the day, especially in Silicon Valley, you're judged by your output. And if you're good at what you're doing, you're going to get hired. Um, and that really mitigates a lot of sort of the previous baggage. So you don't think there's that kind of inertia getting hired in the first place where as a CEO of a company, I'd go, well, actually, there's plenty of graduates I could hire who haven't been in some. Well, sure. That's true. Uh, that's true with anything. This version of it... Hack Reactor, the coding company teaching the inmates, normally charges its San Francisco-based students $17,000 for the privilege of its coding program housed in the city. These students are effectively subsidizing the San Quentin course, which is being provided free of charge. Its boss admits that scaling the prison course across America will be a huge challenge. That, that is the nut we're trying to crack. Eventually it needs to be sustainable. There's a certain amount that we can do, sort of pro bono, but eventually we're going to be held accountable to our own limitations of budget and things like that. Critics might also question why inmates should expect preferential treatment for learning key skills which their law-abiding peers on the outside have to pay for. We could pay, you know, whatever it costs to incarcerate an individual within the walls of a prison for years and years on end, or we can actually uh, help give the guy some skills so that they can leave here and never come back to a place like this. The hope, indeed the strong belief here, is that other prisoners will also be put through the course. The inaugural class of Code 7370 would act as mentors, offering a route to salvation of sorts where inmates may still contemplate their past, but can also, perhaps, better meet the challenges ahead.